Hey guys, I hope you all had a fantastic week. If you are new here, I'm Shayna Lease. Welcome to our little community. I feel like I never say my last name on these videos. So if you're wondering how to pronounce my last name, there you go, Lease, Shayna Lease. It's pretty, isn't it? With the fall approaching, I thought why not do a video about being the new kid. Whether you're changing schools, going off to college for the first time, moving to a new state, or starting a new job, being the new kid can be very scary and intimidating sometimes. And I mentioned in a recent video that I actually went to four different elementary schools from kindergarten through the sixth grade. So I learned at a very young age how to adapt to new situations pretty quickly. And even though it wasn't easy, I'm really Really, really grateful for it because I developed this sense of courage to go out and step outside of my comfort zone and do things by myself over and over again as I grew up and as a result I've had some really great experiences that I otherwise wouldn't have had if I were too scared with that being said I have faith in all of you that you too can step through the fear and step out the other side much stronger here are my quick tips on how to survive being the new kid I'm Shayna, and I love sharing ways on how to better yourself and how to create a beautiful life. Stay in touch with old friends, not to the point where you're like, I already have three best friends, like I don't really need to meet anybody else, and you walk into that new environment with a closed mind, but you just want to reach out to them for comfort through this time of change. If they're a true friend, they're going to be there for you and not try to make you feel guilty for leaving them or meeting new people. Remember that this uncomfortable feeling will not last long. Feeling nervous and scared and anxious is not ideal, but just know that this this too shall pass. You just gotta step through the unknown and before you know it, everything will feel somewhat familiar again. Don't limit yourself to your first new friend. Being the new kid, when we connect with somebody, anybody, we think, okay, this person seems pretty normal, somewhat cool, I'm just gonna hang out with them. I did this my first week of college where I met a few people and I just started migrating with them because it was comfortable instead of exploring and meeting as many people as I possibly could within those first few weeks, so you just want to pay attention to that. Be confident and somewhat outgoing. Hold your head up high, smile, strike up a conversation, or just introduce yourself. Now, believe it or not guys, I'm actually not a very outgoing person at all. Unless I have a few drinks in me, that's a whole other story. I'm actually quite reserved and quite shy in front of new people and in new situations, which is why I love having a friend who's much more outgoing because they do all of the dirty work for me. So I know that this can be easier said than done, but when you're by yourself in these new environments, it's really important to try to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit because honestly, it doesn't take much to start up a conversation. I like your shoes. You're drinking coffee. I like coffee too. Your dress is pretty. Just come up with something. Be vulnerable. A little bit of honesty and humility can go a long way. If you're standing next to somebody and you're like, yeah, man, like I'm the new kid. It really sucks. I don't know anybody here. Chances are that person's not going to walk away and be like, yeah, peace out. Good luck with that. No, they're going to reciprocate and open up and probably start up a conversation. Get involved and connect with like-minded people. Think of it like recess. Now, I was the type where I did not like playing tag, but I loved going on the swings. So naturally, I'm gonna venture over to the people over at the swings because those most likely are my people. So if you like tennis, join a tennis team. If you like to dance, join a dance studio. It's gonna be a lot easier for you to connect and meet people when you're in your element, so to speak. And on a final note, just to reiterate, being the new kid is not a bad thing. You should actually feel lucky that you're working out this muscle because I can guarantee you that your future is going to be better for it. When you learn to face this fear, you can do anything out in the world. And I'm telling you guys, it is what separates the people who settle for what's comfortable and familiar because they're scared from the people who are actually out in the world going after what they really want and reaching their full potential. Remember that. This is the team you want to be on. That is it for today, guys. If you like what you see, be sure to give this video a thumbs up right below. Subscribe to my channel. It's free for a new video every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you back here next week. Bye.